Let's say we've been told that one of the roots of a quadratic equation is x is equal to minus 3 plus 6i. And the equation in question is x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we're asked to find b and c. So if x equals minus 3 plus 6i is one of the solutions, then its complex conjugate would have to be a second solution. So, in other words, what we have is that alpha is minus 3 plus 6i, and beta is minus 3 minus 6i, its complex conjugate. So, we know also that we can write down immediately the equation of the quadratic if we know the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. So alpha plus beta is minus 3 plus 6i plus minus 3 minus 6i, so that's just minus 6, because the two 6i's are going to cancel each other out. If I uh, find the product of these two, I've got minus 3 times minus 3 is 9, I've got minus 3 times minus 6i and 6i times minus 3, they're going to cancel each other out, and I've got 6i times minus 6i, which is minus 36i squared, so that's plus 36, so that makes 45. So in actual fact, the equation is x squared minus the sum of the roots, so plus 6x, plus the product of the roots, and so that is the equation I was looking for. So B is 6 and C is 45. So we can use the stuff that we learned in the first chapter to solve this problem here.